All right, so this is one of my most asked questions and probably one of the most important, especially for recovering sales that you could be losing. And this is your dynamic content and your abandonment email. So if you've ever had issues with getting the items that the person abandoned into like the tables in your abandonment emails, then this video is for you. Nailing this will double your abandoned email conversions. We've actually tested this with including this section versus not including it. Do not mess this up. It will literally double your conversion. So make sure that you have this right. And I'm going to be going over everything in this short video for you. So make sure to join my free newsletter, inboxnewsletter.com slash subscribe, and let's get to it. So what are we talking about? Dynamic content. This is the number one most important aspect of your abandonment emails. It's it is just the most important. So it's gonna be different for every single person based on what they left behind, what they added to their cart, what they viewed, whatever it is. It's gonna be different for everybody. And it is the most important part of an abandonment email. You could have nothing in your email besides just show this item that the person left behind with a shop now button. And it's going to get crazy conversions because the person's like, I just added that to cart. And they're like, oh my goodness, let me, let me get back to it. And so it is the most important part. So make sure that you have this. I, one of my biggest pet peeves is seeing abandonment emails that do not have dynamic content. So make sure that you have these and make sure you have them in place. This is what it looks like here. It's going to skyrocket your conversions kind of like I said, and then also have a personalized customer experience and improve their experience with their brand. So make sure you nail it. So this is going to be quite technical. So this document is going to be in the description for you to copy and paste and do whatever that you need with the with all this. But essentially, this is step by step how we set up these tables from scratch inside of Klaviyo. So copy and paste. These are the base variables if you're using just a Shopify Klaviyo integration. If you have anything else, then I'm going to go over steps for like how to figure that out in a second, but essentially just Klaviyo support. Oh, Okay, so I'm just going to play this video here, but essentially we added a table block in here and all the steps are listed out here, but under table settings, we wanna make sure that it is dynamic and then row collection, this is what we want, row Elias, that is what we want. That is just listed up here for you, so you can copy and paste it, use the doc in the description. And then we wanna do uh, the dynamic content, we want an image over here, and then rather than doing like upload image like we usually do, we do a dynamic image, and this is the variable that we use. Uh, there are a few different ways to use it, but that's the one that we use. For link address, I wouldn't use this long link, so I didn't include it, so I would just include this link here. This is just the checkout link, the base checkout link. And then we have on the text side over here, we wanna have the product name, we wanna have the quantity, and then we want to have like the price of everything. And so these are the, this is what we use. Uh, these are the formulas that we use. You can, that's just right here. It's laid out as text on the right side. And so super, super simple. And then for your checkout links, for your buttons and whatnot, um, for like this text here, we want the link to be this checkout link. And so make sure that you use that link. It is going to do everything for you. So that is is the checkout dynamic content. So that's what everybody has um, when they have Clavio on Shopify, uh, but not everybody has card abandon. So card abandon is different than checkout abandon. It's lower in the funnel if somebody actually adds an item to their cart and doesn't go to checkout. And so super, super important that you have this. Um, watch my abandoned cart video on how to get this installed. This will boost your conversions a ton and pick up a ton of extra revenue for you because a lot of people who, a lot of people abandon their cart, um, obviously, rather than checkout. So let's talk about this. Cart abandon, it's gonna be a little bit different because we're getting a little bit different than Klaviyo, a little bit different information from Klaviyo. So we wanna create a split block. This is just what we use in my agency. There are a lot of different ways you could do it. We use a split and and essentially this is me just like showing you around like spacing and whatnot but for the content super super simple we just want the event dot image here so on the image on the left side dynamic image we do event dot image url which again is listed up here um and then we also have the link address as just like event dot url so that's going to be the same for your buttons and all that good stuff um so that's what we use event dot name that's the text on the right side super super simple um though i'd recommend at least testing using if you have a cart page on your site like nike.com slash cart try linking to that and see if it converts better sometimes that'll do better um so i'd recommend doing that because this link will take you to like the product PDP rather than like your cart. And so that's what I would recommend if you have it. We've noticed better conversions most of the time when we use this. So that's cart abandon. Um, and if you have any issues, ask Clavio support. They're actually like pretty solid, especially for like dynamic content issues and you can get it resolved within, I mean, depends on how, how busy they are, but usually you only have to wait like 15 minutes in line or something. And you can just have this tab open in the back. Um, so it's just clavio.com support. I just go to live chat here and they're gonna try to put you with a bot 
with a bot so that they can save money or whatever. And so what I would recommend is you just like go through this briefly and then you just spam them with, I wanna talk to a live expert, I wanna talk to a live expert, I wanna talk to a live expert. And then eventually they'll put you with one and then you get put in line and then you say, hey, I need this dynamic content. Can you please give me it? I can't figure it out. And then they'll pull all the information for you. So make sure you use Clavia support if you have any sort of question and they'll help you out. So that's it for this one. Thank you so much for reading, watching. Hope you got some value. Join my free newsletter, inboxnewsletter.com slash subscribe for a ton more free content. And that does it for this quick video. Um, let me know if you have questions. Make sure to hit up Clavio support. And yeah, I will see you in the next one.